All this week, as the new season of the Dr. Oz Show kicks off, we're taking you for an exclusive look behind the scenes. Health reporter Alicia Booth was on the set recently in New York City, and today you have a look at the Cleveland connection to the Dr. Oz Show. Yeah, and actually there are quite a few connections, but the biggest one is the partnership Dr. Oz has with a Cleveland physician. Together, they are responsible for changing the attitudes of millions of people through books and television. This is how it all started. Showtime. The day Dr. Mehmet Oz and Dr. Michael Royzen first laid eyes on each other was a good day. I met Mike. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Independently, both had been working toward the same goal. They wanted to empower people to improve their lives by taking charge of their health. And on a handshake, we created a partnership which now years later has resulted in numerous New York Times best-selling books. It's uh, resulted in him being the medical expert on my show, both of us doing the Oprah show a lot. Dr. Michael Royzen's full-time job is in Cleveland at the Cleveland Clinic, where he is chief wellness officer. But he flies to New York City about every 10 days to consult for Dr. Oz's show. It's a friendship that's evolved into one of the most powerful in the health education movement. It's one of trust as well as respect. Dr. Royzen's role on the show is mostly behind the scenes with good reason. When you're giving out medical advice, even very general advice, it's crucial that it be accurate. That's why everything you heard said on this set has been researched thoroughly. It absolutely has to be accurate. A lot of people depend on it. We're trying to change the health of the nation. Dr. Royzen is the chief medical consultant for the Dr. Oz Show. Among his other duties, he advises the three medical students who prepare all of the things you need gloves to touch. Here, it's the human bladders which will appear on a show you'll see later. As Dr. Royzen gave us a tour of the lab, he told us he's a self-proclaimed data geek. It's a quality that gels with Dr. Oz's strengths. Mike delivered information to me that I was desperate for, and I offered to him uh, some insights about how to talk through material that he found valuable. The two are well aware of the power they have together. They know it's an important relationship. It changed my life. The hope is, now it will change yours. And every day, about four million people watch the Dr. Oz show. One of the main reasons viewers give for going back to the show over and over is that it's health information they can use every day, and it's not judgmental. Now, other than his partnership with Dr. Royce and Dr. Oz does have several more Cleveland connections, including a touching story about the current CEO of the Cleveland Clinic. You can hear Dr. Oz talk about it by going to my blog right now on Newsnet5.com. And then tomorrow, Dr. Oz shares us with us some uh, advice that he has a very hard time following. He's not perfect. Yeah. He's quite candid about this, and he also talks about how his life has changed since he's become a household name, and he really let his guard down for this. I, I was really excited about that, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you tomorrow. They're both really passionate about what they do. I'm always, you know, I haven't spoken to Dr. Oz personally, but in talking to Michael Royzen on a number of occasions, yes. he's just, the enthusiasm is really contagious. It, it is, yes, and I, I won't get too close to you since I have laryngitis, by oh. the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how do they keep up the energy? Because it always seems like when you watch that show, Dr. Oz maintains his energy all the time. I, I think they're just natural energy guys. Of course, mm -hmm. they're, they're eating extremely well, and they're exercising, and they're doing all the right things. But when I interviewed Dr. Oz, it was at the very end of the day. He had done two rehearsals, taped two shows, talked to People magazine. Wow. And at the end of the day, he was completely engaged and full of energy, right up to the last second and I knew that I was possibly making him late his for his flight for his daughter's wedding and and he was terrific Wow! and then of course since then uh, came the news that he had uh, had a colonoscopy and they had found a, a precancerous yeah colon. and he debated about whether to share that and, and but decided that mm -hmm. it was the right thing to do because it would remind people that they need to get their colonoscopies so at the age-appropriate time mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And more coming tomorrow from the more land tomorrow. of Oz. tomorrow. Can't wait and check out the blog. All right. Keep it coming. Keep All it right. coming, Alicia.